All right, we live now. Hey, baby. All right, what's up, Phil? You you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, how y'all doing? Hold on, let me get my camera together. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, go, go ahead and take your time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We, we're getting ready to start the show now. So the first thing we're going to go over, we're going to discuss Scotty and Mike. You know how everyone be saying that Bulls could have won without Scotty this, without Scotty that. So let's just dive deep into it. Hey, Johnny, you're about to go ahead and spread some of this knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, so, you know, real quick, you know, obviously, you know, for me, Scotty Pippen is a top five player in the 90s. And the reason I say that is because of, of this type of list right here. This is... This is the class Scottie Pippen sits in when you talk about the 90s players. These are all the 90s players that had all NBA and um, all defensive selections in the 90s. You had to have at least seven all NBAs in the 90s, which is what Scottie has. So if okay. you look at this, if you look at this list, you see you got Carl Malone, John Stockton, Charles Barkley, Akeem Olajuwon, Michael Jordan, and David Robinson. These are the class that Scottie Pippen sits in when you talk about 90s players, right? So... You know, people like to talk about, well, you know, Scotty was with Jordan, Jordan made Scotty and all this other stuff. But, you know, Scotty had nine all defensive teams in the 90s and he had seven all NBAs and he did two of those without Jordan really being on the roster for two full, you know, for two full seasons. So Scotty was in his own right a great player. Um, for me, I, I put Scotty above Stockton and, and, um, and Barkley because of his defense. Because as great as Jordan was on the offensive side of the ball, that's what Scotty was on the defensive side of the ball. So Scotty was basically, uh, you know, a, a Michael Jordan on defense. He's he's probably the greatest perimeter defender in NBA history. You know what I'm saying? If we really break it down. But if you look at this list, you'll see it. So, you know, obviously the seven all NBAs are there and listed there. I also listed some extra stuff because Stockton, um, Pippen, and, uh, and Barkley – Barkley had an MVP, but he never made any all defensive teams. So I added, you know, some, some stats for them. But you can see, obviously, Malone, Akeem, you know, uh, Jordan, David Robinson were in the class of their own by themselves. You see what those guys were doing in the 90s. So that was the 90s. But this is where Pippen sits at. This is the, the names that you would put with Pippen when we talk about Scottie Pippen. And not, not to mention the six rings. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then if you really want to talk about the defense, go to the next slide so we can talk about why, why Scottie Pippen was so important for the Bulls. Go to the next slide. Um, no, not that one. This one here. Now, this one is the all defensive team class where Scottie Pippen sits at. On the right is the top five all defensive first team selections. All right. So these are the guys that have seven all defensive first team selections or more. If you look at that list, it's Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Kevin Garnett, Chris Paul, and Gary Payton. That's all you have. That's that's the list of the – and they also have to have seven All-NBAs. I forgot to mention that. So you have to have seven All-Defensive first teams and seven All-NBAs in total to be on this list. And this is where Scottie Pippen sits all the time. This is not the 90s. This is so all seven time. Total. Not seven total. That has seven first All-Defensive all, all team selections and at least seven All-NBA selections, whether it's first, second, or third teams. This is the list that you see there. And you can see their All-NBA selections there. You see what I'm saying? So this is where Scottie Pippen sits at when you talk about defensive players, defenders. Scottie Pippen is an all-time legend when you talk about defense. You know what I'm saying? And then if you look on the left-hand side, that's just all um, the top five all-defensive selections in general, whether it was first or second team. And when you do this list, you just add Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Akeem Olajuwon. And that's who Scottie Pippen is sitting in, in, the, in the class with. So this is what Scotty, you know, this is what Scotty represented for the Chicago Bulls. And a lot of people love to mention, well, he only averaged 16 points for his career. Uh, Chris Paul averages 18. Gary Payton averages 18. And so does Kevin Garnett. And if they play with Michael Jordan for nine, 10 years, they would average 16 points per game as well. Um, it's clear Scotty Pippen was ahead of his game. He sacrifices offense. You know, to play defense, you can say, hey, you know what? He didn't have to worry about offense as much. So he could, you know, he can focus on defense a lot. But still, he was in a class of his own or, or, or in the class of the greats and the legends. So that's why Scottie Pippen, you know what I'm saying, is always talked about when we talk about Michael Jordan and the LeBron GOAT debate because people don't leave LeBron alone about his teammates and they try to act like Scottie Pippen was a nobody. This is what Scottie Pippen was doing for the Bulls. Um, go to the next slide, the one where he was on the, uh, the, the super team one. No, the super team one. This one here. Th this is why 
Scottie Pippen's important. If you look at this, these are these are the only teams in NBA history since the merger that had two all NBA players and three all defensive selections on the same year since the merger. And two of them are the Chicago Bulls from the 90s. Okay, and, and it's two separate teams, and that, that's why I make Scotty's important because Scotty's on both of those teams, but Rodman isn't. In '93 they had Grant, and in '96 they had Rodman, and they that that that's a super team right there. That's all time generation type roster that you're putting together right there when you're talking about that. And we're talking about Michael Jordan and Scotty making first All NBA and first um, All Defensive Team in those years. So you know, Scotty is definitely, definitely somebody that that's worthy of speaking about when we talk about the teammates or the help that somebody has. Um, go to the one with Dwayne Wade now because a lot of people like to mention Dwayne Wade. I have Scotty Pippen at, uh, ahead of Dwayne Wade all time, also. But I, I, I put a little thing together because people love to talk, but they never go look up the information and go look up the numbers. To the right, you have Scotty Pippen versus Dwayne Wade. Okay, so these are their all-time numbers for their careers. Uh, obviously, Dwayne Wade's an all-star um, more than Scottie Pippen. You know, I have my theories to why Scottie Pippen didn't make a lot of all-stars, but we all know the all-star is a popularity contest. People make it. It's, a, it's an accolade. It, it, it deserves the honor that the players deserve to make um, or have. But then when we go to all-NBA, Dwayne Wade has one more. Um, uh, you know, uh, Pippen has one more first team. But then we go to the defense. Like we said, Scottie Pippen defensively is just incredible. Ten all defensive selections, three for Dwayne Wade, eight first teams, zero for Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade has a scoring title, but you know Scotty has the, the steals titles. They both won an All Star uh, MVP. Scotty got the six rings. Dwayne Wade got the three. Now we go to the stats, which M Jordan fans don't like to talk about stats unless it's other players. Scotty averaged sixteen points per game. I mean, you guys see the numbers there. For me, like I tell you, if Scotty wasn't on Jordan's team, he would easily average 18, 19 points for his career. But he played with Jordan for most of his career, so he sacrificed his scoring so that, you know, he can help his, in, in other ways for them, for them to win. So Scotty is definitely somebody that's, you know, he, you know he, he rebounds better than Dwayne Wade. He passes just as good as Dwayne Wade. He plays better defense. The shooting is similar. Um, so Scotty is just as good as Dwayne Wade. Some people have Dwayne Wade ahead of Scotty. I have Scotty ahead of Dwayne Wade. But they're in that same class. I have them anywhere between 20 and 30 all time. Scotty's the man, you know, and if we go to the playoffs, which is the one in the middle, um, it shows you Dwayne Wade's <clears throat> playoffs and his finals numbers, and it shows you Scotty Pippen's playoffs and finals numbers. Um, and then to the left, what I did was I put AD and Kyrie together because obviously Kyrie and AD alone are not going to be better than Scotty Pippen, no matter how you want to cut the budget. So I had to put them their stats together to make them at least better than Scotty Pippen. So, I mean, you could look at it here. I mean, let's be real. All right, both both Kyrie and AD averaged 23 points per game for their career. But when it comes to the assists and all that other stuff and the rebounds, Kyrie averaged, I think, about five and a half assists. Um, and then and, and then uh, this guy, Anthony Davis, averages like 10 rebounds. But if you look at the statistics, if you add them together, it's not that much better than Scotty besides the points, um, which, we are, like, like I said, Scotty's not going to score. Nobody's going to score with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan took 23 shots per game in his career, 25 with the Bulls. He's, you know, he's dominating. But then if you look at the, what's it called? Scotty has the same amount of all NBA selections as AD and Kyrie put together. He has twice all defensive selection as them put together. Um, uh, all three of them is one of all-star all MVP. Uh, Anthony Davis has three rebound uh, championships. Uh, and and the, big, the big number that everybody loves to talk about, six championships to two. So this is how you make, you know, this is how you make uh, Kyrie Irving or AD better than, uh, than uh, Scotty. You would have to put them together because alone they're not even there. They only they only got him by like twenty something games together <laughs> in their careers. So you know what I mean. And and if they play another six hundred games, who knows? Their scoring average might not be twenty three. It might be lower. You know what I'm saying? So and and obviously they'll have some more selections. Hopefully, because we know Kyrie's an all time talent. So is AD. If you know they stay healthy and play, they definitely gonna be Hall of Famous. Um, you know, I just I just don't like the fact that they put AD in top 75 this early in his career. I don't think he earned it. So, but again, this is yeah, this is Scott. This is Scottie Pippen's career right here. This is what Scottie Pippen has done. This is what he is. He's a top player in the 90s. He's a top player of all time. And you talk about all time help. He definitely helped the Bulls win six championships straight up. No doubt. AB, I I, yeah. I uh okay. So I was a kid growing up. In Baton Rouge, and uh, where I was located, WGN was like 
their channel. You know, back then, you know, I was young, you know, you only had like eight channels, WGN was so mm -hmm. because the Bulls are so popular. Uh when I saw that guy, my prayer every day was, Lord, make me six eight two thirty. Because I just <laughs> thought that that guy was the great I, we all love Mike. Yeah. But when I saw Scotty, I, I was I was in love, man. I was in love. So I'm I'm a very nuanced player when it comes to basketball. I played with Brandon in college, and he'll he'll tell you my whole game was in my mind all around. I, I was an all around basketball mm -hmm. player because that's how I thought. I believe basketball was you have to be the best all around player to increase your advantages to win. So in my mind, Scotty was a savant. And if you ask most of the players in the nineties, yeah, Michael was the guy that they, that the league pushed forward because it's a, it's a, it's a league of, yeah, it's, of it's a star driven. Yeah. League. Yeah. 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 Michael, right. Mike's the biggest star of all. Right. Right. He's the, he's the cash cow. Yeah. But the players said, I, I know Mike, Mike, but that guy he running with, that ain't no Robin. That's not <laughs> Robin. That's not, you know, so there are a couple of things that I, I think we miss in, in the conversation with Scotty. So, and, and I'd always be a, be a liaison for him when it comes to this, because I don't think the nuances are spoken enough for him. There are a couple of things. Scotty Pippen, when we talk about guys who changed and impacted the game, of course, in this era, we talk about Steph Curry as a guy who changed the game by way of the three point shot. He took out, the traditional fives, right? Do you know Scottie Pippen changed the way GMs drafted post Michael's first retirement? Scottie Pippen is the reason facilitating point guards were no longer drafted high. Wow. He is the reason for that. There were no more Stockton's. There were no more Scott Skiles. There were no more of those type of facilitating point guards. If you notice, post three P, who was the number one pick in ninety six? He said Scott Skiles. <laughs> who was the number one pick in ninety six? AI. 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 Yeah. Steph. Baron. BD. You. You had uh, a Stevie franchise. You yeah. now. Gina's only one is, is CP3. That's the only one. That, Nash CP3. Yeah. You had your exceptions, Andre. Yeah, that's, you had there's not many. I'm talking about on the, on the with the consistency mm -hmm. of that the 80s brought, where you, yeah. you what teams is like, I gotta get a facilitating point guard. You no longer did that because why the Bulls were so dominant. These are the nuances. The Bulls were so dominant because at Scotty's position, he took out two guys. He always had the advantage at small forward, but he also took out the point guard. If you One, go two, back four. and watch the games, yeah, he took out two. So it was always the Bulls were always four yeah. on five. Yeah. Me and me and Chris actually talked about it in the '98 Finals. How Scotty just took out Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson right. was killing. Right, he right. completely took him out. Right, yeah, it, it was a nightmare. It was yeah. a nightmare for now me. He, we were talking about that. Now that's '98. Now that's '98. Yeah. That's what remember, yeah, at the end. That yeah, at the team, end. <laughs> that team, though, and, and I'm, I got a whole segment on, on uh, they in the in the uh, what was the 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 last dance? They showed the the two free throws missed by Scotty in Game Six. What you're not gonna ever see is Game Seven. Michael was awful in Game Seven, and Scotty, go watch it. Scotty saved them. <laughs> Scotty saved them. If you go watch Game Seven at the end, the Pacers had them. They had the game, but they—the one thing that the Pacers never had, which is the reason they could never beat the Bulls, even in '98, they never had a small forward that could match up with Scotty. And the closest that they got was Jalen, but Jalen was Jaylen too was young. Yeah, he, he they had, they had, the had time. they had young. Chris Mullen yeah. that year, but Chris Mullen was kind of was old. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, he was out of his prime that year. Yeah, yeah. Way out of Chris, I don't, think, I don't even think he started. I don't even think he started. No, he started. He started. He started. Uh, the yeah, whole series. yeah, but, but yeah, by that, that, that was Jordan, man. That was Jordan. That no, I'm saying that the, the season. I don't think he started the whole season. I think he was right. kind of hurt that season. I don't he think was. he even played the whole season. Oh, he was, yeah. uh, but M Mullis was way out by that time. Yeah, by, yeah. After ninety two, ninety three, Mullis was was pretty much on the back end. That was the. That's a really good point you say because I, I grew up being an Indiana Pacer fan, so and that was the biggest one that and they invested a lot of money on 
Jonathan Bender and Al Harrington and a bunch of these guys. To try to play but Atlanta. that's your 2000s. That's your 2000s players. In the yeah. 90s, they didn't have any. Oh, yeah, no. And yeah. that's the reason in 94 when Scotty, and, and we, that's another thing we got to talk about, is, is twice Scotty got screwed by the refs in route to going to the NBA Finals. Yeah. Twice. In 94 and in 2000. But I digress. When <laughs> them playing the, the Knicks in the, the semis, Knicks. Mm -hmm. they knew that had he got past the Knicks, they're beating the Bulls are beating the Pacers. They're beating the Pacers. They're beating that team because they destroyed them that entire year. Just just absolutely railroaded them. And so, so they knew that, that Scotty was on a path to, to, to that. But back to the point of this guy, as far as an imp, as far as impact, two things. He took out point guards. So now you had to usher in a new type of point guard, the athletic scoring point guard, which is what you saw going into the back end of the 2000s post three piece then secondly he sired the new generation of forwards which would be eventually be the generation of individuals who would get teams to finals he yeah. is the reason for that you, because you can't replicate a michael you can't do that because there's only one system that works with that that's why i've always refuted the whole well lebron he can't play in any other system yes he actually can you don't have systems in play right at, at, at this time that can utilize those type of talents singularly, okay? The triangle was perfect for Scottie Pippen and for Michael Jordan because it took the ball out of a dominant two guard. That's why Kobe's kids can't win unless they have what? A facilitating, another facilitating player. Kyrie can't win without a LeBron. Book <laughs> is never going to go anywhere without a CP3. OK, those Jason Tatum, love Tatum, love them. They're not going to get anywhere. Like, honestly, like really be able to be championship level until you have another guy. That's why I've always said, I don't know why they never converted Jalen Brown, because he has all the tools for it. You got to have another facilitating guy to go along those type of players, because when you don't have it, I don't win. They're not, they're going to, they're spectacular talents, much like Michael, much like Kobe, but you're not going to win. Okay. And Brandon can attest to that. We had a guy on our team, my best friend, Derek Anthony, and he could shoot, shoot and score with the best of them. But if he didn't have feel on his squad or he didn't have another guy who could like do all the other things, as much as well he's talented, you're not going to win. You know, I, I, everything, all the knowledge you dropping right now is really like great, right? But the greatest knowledge you dropped on me right now is the fact that Brandon never told me he played college basketball this whole time. It's like our first year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brandon, yeah. Brandon yeah. listen. Nice too. We, I, don't, we, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go go around bragging about it. No, no. But, not, if if y'all watching, if y'all watch the show, the past shows, we've had people come on this show, question our basketball knowledge and our basketball integrity because of not playing college ball or some not, I mean, like, you know, I mean, like, you know, cause I got to tell these folks, we do this show so that we can have a good discussion about it. Right. We all know it's a subjective discussion, yes. but we can, we, we can objectively discuss it. You understand what I'm trying to say? And, and obviously you have to use the numbers that are given to us. And obviously you broke it down really, really good about Scottie Pippen because we all know that is what Scottie Pippen was. He was the yeah. facilitator for the Bulls. Yeah. He was the leader. He was the defender of the Bulls. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even I sent I sent Brandon a, a link to Phil Jackson interview with John mm -hmm. Sally. Even he's told Jordan that, listen, you have to score less. You have to shoot less for you to win. You were averaging 35, 37. You couldn't get Westbrook. past the home. Yeah. He was Westbrook. He even told him. He even told Jordan, "No, my, nobody who wins the scoring title actually wins the championship." And Jordan told him, "Well, listen, I can still win the scoring title." Jordan's still focused on that scoring title. Yeah, he was still focusing on the scoring title. <laughs> yes. He said, "He said, he said, if I can shoot about two or three shots less, correct?" And 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 Phil was like, "Well, it's gonna be you know less than two. It's gonna be more than two or three. Like, like you're gonna, five at least. Yeah, it's gonna be like five <laughs> shots." But that that's the sacrifice Scotty made because Scotty yes. was like, "I, you know, what I'm saying Scotty was like, you know what." This guy wants to shoot the ball. He's he's great at it. He's one of the greatest scorers. If not, you know, people say he's the greatest scorer ever. So I'm gonna do all the other things. Um, you know, you mentioned the the '98 Eastern Conference Finals, but also in the the finals in '97 and '98, people don't remember it was Scottie Pippen and Harper trapping Stockton at the at the half court yes. line. Yes, at the half court yes. line. So that six nine length and that athletic ability, and you know, so 
you know, Scotty, like, you know, and, and then you add Rodman, you know what I'm saying? And you, you know, the, the people forget how great of a GM Jerry Krause really was. Yes. Because yeah. beyond the, the drafting, signing Scotty for a seven year deal changed how you sign star players. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So him, him saying, Oh, you know what? A collecting bargain green was coming up in a year. All right. Let me, let me lock Pippen down for the next, right. <laughs> for the and next knew, year, whatever. And knew and understood and, yeah. his situation of to know that school, that Scotty's hand was forced. Yeah. I, I'd like to. Oh, go no, back he did. Further. He did. Yeah, yeah. Scotty, okay. Scotty said it. Eighteen million dollars was a lot of money in ninety one. Right. can't turn where you he came from. And you couldn't. No one could match it or give him any more because of the bird rights. Right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I remember. I'm from a family of thirteen. Let me tell you something. And I'm from the south. I'm from Louisiana. He's from Arkansas. I can tell you that mm-hmm. at that time he he was like he had no choice. Okay, and the Bulls knew that. The Bulls knew that. Okay? He had a lot of family, probably. Yeah, too. yeah you, got, you got a lot of family, a lot of. Yeah, he, he, he was kid, like right? he was one of like thirteen or fifteen kids. Yeah, he's, too, right? he's one of twelve. Yeah. Twelve. He's one of okay. twelve. Ooh. My bad for being late. So, so that's good. what that was. Also, also I, 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 this is another I argument that I get a lot when it comes to Scotty. Scotty. Well, he didn't do anything. And mute J Rock right quick. Right quick. So, because yeah. Oh, that's him. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Good. well, he didn't do anything. Is do you know how good you have to be to be a lottery pick from an NAIA? Just, just for context, that's not a D one. That's not a one. I'm showing my age a little bit. That's not a D one double A. Not a one triple A. Not a D two. I don't even not know what a D three. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But that existed at that time. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, it, it's, it's the equivalent right of what you call mid majors in FCS right now. Yeah. Okay. If you have a, if you have a six eight guy averaging twenty two points per game, obviously you're gonna draft him and see what he can do. You know what I'm saying? Development. But yeah. he's lottery though. Not 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 back end of a second round or anything. That's so true. That's true. Yeah. And he wasn't yeah. very impressed. Like he didn't seem. He was scrawny, you know, and yes. he wasn't a guy that talked yes. a lot, you know what I mean? So he wasn't like somebody causing too much attention. So they did take a shot on him, or somebody did great scouting on him. He, he was young. Seattle Seahawks. Young. Seattle, yeah. no, I mean, yeah. Seattle did. Seattle yeah. did. Yeah. He's Seattle a fifth did. pick for a reason. Fifth yeah. pick for a reason. But he's hey, but, a lottery, though. He's a but, lottery. I, I wanted ahead, to throw Chris. in. I, I, talking, ahead, I was I was talking to uh, Brandon about this, and I was like, I wonder what would have happened if Derek McKee would have gone instead of Scotty Pippen. Uh, what would have Mike done with Derek McKee, you know, instead of Scottie Pippen? Because that was the trade that they did. Uh, wasn't it Polonese? I thought it was Polonese, no? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was like a three way trade. Okay. Okay. Because we had, we had Shrimp and then he went to the Sonics and Derek went to, it was, it was like a switch other than that. Mm, okay. We can fa- Yeah. Uh, Brandon could probably fact check that real quick. Well, <laughs> I believe that it was Derek McKee. That can you hear me though? No, it was, yeah, yeah, we can we, hear you. We right. you. It's just I echoing. bet. I had to take the uh, mic off. Okay. 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 All right. Hey, but before we let J Rock get you, because J Rock didn't want to talk about Pippen for a while, um, right. let's get a little let's subjective, a little right, subjective quick. right quick. Do you think, think Scotty Pippen? Pippen couldn't uh, be the uh, face be of the league because, 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 because of how he looked. Because he wasn't really. Uh, uh, Pippen's not attractive. He's, he's, he's an ugly looking man. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Know like, like, Scotty, for some reason, people didn't like Scotty. <laughs> but, but go ahead, J Rock. <laughs> All right, let, let me put him back on. It's still, it's still, it's still echoing, it's still echoing for him. Is it? Yeah, I feel like. I feel like. Have any headphones? No, I took. I had to take them. I had earphones in at first, so I had to take okay, them out. Go. There you go. Okay. So it's straight. Oh, still like an echo. Like an echo. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's an echo, it's an because, echo because uh, your speaker, uh, your speaker and, and your mic is close, close to each other. All right. Damn, man. You gotta use the headphones. You gotta use the headphones. Let me try to put them back in. We got a new, we got, a new, we got somebody, we got somebody new. new. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all, y'all hear me okay? Yeah, we, we can hear you. How we yeah, sound? We can hear you. How we sounding, bro? Cool. Funny. Funny. How, right, we right, right. Yeah. 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 Think, How we sound? Yeah, I think, yeah, we can still hear that echo with Jay. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to leave and come back. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. 
All right, yeah, Quinn, we, we, we're talking about um, Scotty and Mike right now, about mm-hmm. how important Scotty was to Mike and how much credit he don't get. Scotty, what? <laughs> <laughs> I literally heard that uh, that last season that, you know, Mike didn't, uh, I mean, that Pippen didn't want to play. You know, Mike had to keep coming out to the house, and then he started threatening the nigga. Then they had to pay him millions at the table to come back. So they needed him. They needed him. Yo. Yeah, you better now, Jay. Go ahead. Yeah, you good. Yeah, it's better now. Damn. Yeah, it's good. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Give it to us. Where you want me to start at? Or just go ahead, break it well, down? Well, I mean, we have, I mean, you missed what we talked about. Yeah. You know, we were showing the, all the things that Scotty did. And, and basically, I was saying how uh, mm. what, what Michael Jordan was on offense, Scotty Pippen was on the defensive side of the ball. So, like, he's an all-time great on that side of the ball alone. And then he sacrificed right. his scoring just to allow the Bulls to have the winning and also to let Jordan win his scoring titles because Jordan wanted to have scoring titles plus win. So, um, you know, you're going you're gonna to break it down because you know about Scottie Pippen the, like the best of us. Go ahead, man. Oh, this is how I look at it, bro. When I look at Scottie Pippen, I just look at a point guard. I look at a small forward. I look at a power forward. I look at a shooting guard. That's what I look at. I, I look at if you talk if you if you need forty, he gonna give it to you, bro. If you need fifty, he gonna give it to you. It's all about what you need from him. You got Jordan. Jordan need a score because he ain't finna do everything that Pippen do. You see what I'm saying? He ain't finna do Pippen. They that why they understand each other. Yeah, okay. Jordan, you go you go you gonna put up you gonna put up um twenty five shots tonight. All right. I ain't, I ain't gonna let you uh guard uh, the the best man on that team. That way you could be, be able to put up your shot. You ain't gonna be tired trying to play offense and defense every night. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Pippen, mm-hmm. Pippen will spend his time, Pippen will spend his time on, on the defensive side and forget to shoot. But he'll be the determined factor every time, though, boy. The but sometimes not to cut you off. Sometimes Mike did want to go out there and try to guard the best player and he's like, all right, you know what? Go ahead and get him. Yeah, party. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He gonna he he gonna try, but he got exposed too much. I to get his ass busted. Yeah, got exposed. Mm-hmm. Got exposed. Got exposed. He said he, he got exposed. <laughs> oh, he got exposed yeah, too much. Got his ass exposed. Okay. Oh, oh, you can look at Jordan's name and say, okay, that's Michael Jordan's name. I go believe it. But I'm a, I'm a big, a big ass Jordan fan. I know I seen it in my eyes, man. My eyes ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all remember the Rex Chapman game, right? Because I'm a Heat fan. Y'all know Rex oh, yeah. Chapman. Lived <laughs> up for the yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And, he and talk it. and talk shit the whole mm-hmm. game. My brother what went to that up? game. My brother went to that game. When he came back home, they were all upset because they were all Jordan fans wearing Jordan jerseys, and they left the arena like, "Damn, bro!" Like a white and, boy rock Jordan. <laughs> and that was the that was the dunking on you, um, Rex Chapman. It was like a Ginobili type of you know player. He was just like you didn't think he could dunk on you, ah! And all of a sudden, he was dunking on you. Yeah. Hey, yeah let me let me let me ask you this, Brandon and Phillips. Since y'all played college ball, let me ask you this. The, from what I understand, the difference between a college player and an and a pro player is actually defense. That all college players offensively are kind of good offensively, especially that make it to the NBA. But the real difference is, is that the ones that get drafted or the ones that get or get scouted well are the ones that could actually play defense. Is that true? Uh, mm, nah. kind of sorta. I'm gonna tell you the difference. To be honest with you, because me and me and Brandon, we played in in, in the Bay Area. So uh, I don't know if Brandon got to do this, but uh, Coach Coach Menez would take us to uh, San Ramon. Yeah, yeah, you know, he had connections. He'd take us to San Ramon and uh, and near Tice Valley, and. At this time, Barron and Gilbert Arenas was in was in, they were in the league. Mm-hmm. But they would come to these pro ams that we would get a chance to to run at in the summertime. I'm gonna tell you the difference is is the strength, and that they do that for a job. That is that that's the difference. Okay. Is is the strength level is unreal. You think Baron Davis is probably the strongest. So when y'all hear Dwayne Wade talk about Baron being so tough, Baron Davis is the strongest guard I've ever guarded. In my life, like he's oh, he's strong as a hawk. I like unbelievably strong on how he can he can put you on his hip, and it's nothing you can do. Once once he nail you, I, and I, I like I said, I, Scotty was my guy. So defensively, I thought I could guard anybody. I don't care if you were six eight, six 
six nine. If I'm on you, I got you. I got you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Mm. But that dude, strong. Gilbert's range, unreal. And this is before Stephen. Yeah, yeah. Unreal. How I seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen Gilbert Arenas here he at uh, him, YMCM man. in Scottsdale, bro, and he was stepping just every shot from mid court. He was doing this pickup game and this YMCA. Mike Beebe was there and a bunch of these dudes, and they were he was shooting Mike Beebe too. They were just shooting from mid court, bro. Yes. Every single yes. shot, and it was yes. a splash, bro. Yeah, a splash. Yeah, he was pulling up on me from half, man, and like like nothing. So it's really the strength level. Because they, you know this is like their job, like they do that. But there's no school interrupting. No, they're like, like what Kobe talks about. Hey, we get up 4 a.m., 4 to 6. There's a workout. You take a break. Then from 10 to 12, you back at it. Then I come back from two to four. Then I'm, then I'm back crazy. at it from six. Kobe was crazy. Kobe was crazy. No, no, they do that. They, no, but I, Kobe, they, Kobe said that he did that like as an extra thing. He said they were doing right. two a day. I was doing three a day. If they right. were doing three a day, I was doing four a day. Like right, right. Kobe was trying to outwork yeah. everybody. Yes, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like um, like Kobe you know? and, and Jordan Trainer. Um, yeah. Jordan Tim Trainer Rome. said that um, he, Jordan would do what was needed. Kobe would say, okay. I, I want to do more. That that was Kobe. Yes. Kobe always yeah. wanted to do more. Yes. He always yes. wanted to be the best. Since LeBron do that shit too. Came yeah, yeah, for LeBron the same way. Yeah, LeBron. Yeah, so it's beast. it's really it's really like the strength level because when, when you're going up against them, they're stronger. Uh, mm -hmm. They're far more uh, far more balanced. Uh, you you wouldn't be how balanced they are. So it's really like. That work that they put in that separates mm -hmm. the college from, from all, the NBA. You yeah. also have to be able to like be be able to be have some have IQ in the game because the system yeah. that they play in college, yeah. you know, there's a lot of pickup guys that don't just smoke anybody one on one, but put him in the system and they can't really flourish like that they could. You know, you also have to understand how to play in the system when you're at the yes. college levels. Yeah. Yeah, for, I got you. for for me, um, you know, I play versus you know a, a lot of pros, and the main thing that I like notice is, you know, the pace and their mm -hmm. balance. They're moving at a faster pace than you know, you know, I could move at a fat faster pace, you know, when, when when I was when I was there. But you know, their balance also like going full speed, dropping on a dime, shooting in form with 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 no problem. You know, where, you know, I got the um, mid range, you know, I could take it outside, but, you know, they could do that at a, at the fastest pace that I could run at and be balanced. So, <laughs> you know, it's a big adjustment and mm -hmm. defense, you know, defense is a second thought when you are pro a lot of times because it's hard to guard that. It's hard to guard that. There's only a, a handful of players in NBA history who are great defenders. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that has a lot of to, to do with it. You know, um, I know we talked to, we always talk about Jordan in the 90s and who he like went up against. And you could just name his best defenders that they that had to guard him. You know, the best defender is probably Brian Russell on the Utah Jazz. You know, he was he he was long, he was tall, but he you know, yeah, I would say Dumars. I would say Dumars. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, yeah. Dumars, yeah. Dumars, Dumars. No, I was Joe just probably guarding but, him. thinking about when, when, when he was winning. But when he, was he winning. wasn't a when shooter. Yeah, though, he was winning. When but he think started about winning it. in his prime, when he started winning in his prime, I would probably have to put guys who could, who, who would do the opposite when you're talking about defending him, who would make him uh, have to like work. So to me, Mitch, Mitch Richmond. Well, Jordan not. said that, right? Jordan said Mitch Richmond was Mitch his... Richmond because Mitch made him work so hard on the other end. I think Mitch that had that muscle it made like you Mitch said, a that job punch. to guard yeah. him easier. But, you know that was very rare that they played together. And, right. yeah. You know, buying buying Ru yeah. Russell did keep him in the low forties. Yeah, well, y'all forgetting about, somebody in the low forties. Oh, I, shooting. You mean in show, yeah, shooting? Yeah. I thought yeah, you meant scoring. Right. I was gonna say low, low scoring and the forty no, shooting percent is like low forties. 
Yeah. Like he gave Jordan problems. Man, what about what about GP, man? And GP, yeah. Uh, man, show him, show him the all the all defensive list that I had, Scotty Pippen. Yeah, you, you should. If you, I was gonna say, you should pull. We should pull up something on that because that was one of the arguments that Brandon just slaughtered me when I was like, man, you know, Jordan went against tougher competitions. Like, tell me the shooting guards, like actual shooting guards, because GP was a point guard. Um, you know, Mitch Richmond was six four, six five. You know, so Mike yeah. always had a little bit of yeah. He always had that one great height. He's always that had great the, shooting guards outside of and, him. And Reggie Miller. Reggie. He was like, yeah. that's what, that's what like, like I was like, saying, literally, Reggie was the only say, one. <laughs> always Reggie, say Reggie that Scotty no Pippen got the world hey, class Damn, my boy did not have no defense. <laughs> I know he can't guard no more. He can't dribble. <laughs> <laughs> he can't go left. He can't go left. <laughs> Who that is? Reggie Mill. <laughs> Reggie Mill. Yeah, that's my hey, that's my favorite player, man. I mean, I mean hey, Clyde, I mean, hey, Clyde, you, you really need a, Clyde need a the that. same way. Right. Yeah, hey, you know, you know, one of the thing about Reggie, right? You know, a lot of people talk shit about Hall of Fame, this Hall of Fame, that, because I brought up a post about Hall of Fame, how much LeBron has over Jordan. But when you really look at, like I tell people, you could actually make the Hall of Fame off just your stats. You don't have to have no accolades, no nothing. And Reggie Miller is one of those type of players because yeah. Reggie don't have too many All NBAs, no All Defensive Teams. Third team, three think, times. That's all. Yeah. yeah, and he and he has. I don't even know how many All Stars he has, but he doesn't have that. He, he, has, like five, he has like yeah, five, bro. Yeah, like so. Just off of his stats five alone, six, just off of his stats and making the playoffs and the stuff that he did in the playoffs was yeah, enough to I, warrant his Hall of Fame career. I think so, that. And yeah, one man, team, none two, of them, one team, man, you know, none of them niggas on paper level, man. No, we know that, we know, <laughs> no, no, we no, know no. that, we know that, but we just talking about the who uh Jordan had as far as shooting guard and his competition level, as far as who he had to guard him or who was who he was guarding, I, I, who was guarding and, him. And he wasn't I think, guarding okay, shooting I, think I think the biggest, I think the biggest Jordan fan still need to do their research on Scottie Pippen, bro. It's like it's just something that's there. It's just something that I see, bro. You see that? You see this really list here? know about Jordan, period. Hey, Jay, I'm a hey, jerk. So, huh? you see the list? You see this list here, Jay? You see what? You see what's, what class Scottie Pippen sits in as far as all NBA? Uh, I mean, an all defensive team selection. Oh yeah, automatic. Yeah, that's Scottie, bro. That's his class right there. Those are the people. But, you, mentioned but so you saying defense? So this is why I say. This oh, why I say that offense. But see, what I'm saying about Scott on the offensive side, bro. Now, this is also like, no, these are players that are also seven time all, all NBA players. So they have yeah. to have they have to have seven all the uh, uh defensive right. or their top their, their top five they got all the top defensive five. players, their top five all defensive players, and then they're there's seven all NBA at, at least or more. Yeah, so you're doing it career. on the offensive side too. Exactly. So he's seven yeah. all NBA or, or just being a best player because remember, all NBA is the top 15 best players in the league. So he makes that you know and these are the players that he sits with. So when we talk in Scottie Pippen, we're not talking Dwayne Wade, we're not talking Kyrie Irving, we're not talking Anthony Davis. Nah. We talking not even close. We're we talking to Kim Olajuwon. We talking Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Gary Payton, Kobe Bryant. They got mad at me because I put Kobe Bryant ahead of Jordan on the all defensive team that I put on our group. Oh, absolutely. And no that's doubt. Be, and, and that's because of what y'all said. Kobe really went up against some real shooting guards. Some real hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, can, I, can I say something about Jordan that? Jordan got lucky Bernard King was always hurt. Jordan got lucky about Bernard <laughs> King. Ooh, hey, hey, boy, you're hey, boy, you're a real one for that. But you're very a real one lucky. for saying that one. But you're real lucky. for saying that. I ain't lying. Right. <laughs> on, on, that, on that rigid, on that rigid hey, 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 man, you oh, know how yeah. easy. Yeah, you're right. Reggie, oh, Reggie, yeah. Reggie Lewis. Reggie Lewis. Reggie Lewis. Reggie Lewis. Lewis. Reggie Lewis. 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 And Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias. Lynn Bias. Jordan was right. Oh, I, think Jordan was I think Jordan was putting hits on. I think Jordan was putting hits on motherfuckers, man. We forget. We forget <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Pepovich. Pe Pepovich, Pe that crazy guy. That's a yeah, yeah, but, hey, he was over. Hey, he was overrated though. Nah, I mean, he wasn't on that. Nah, he was just a white boy. He ain't trying to give him a rugby white boy. Hey, don't forget about Chris Jackson, Abdul Rauf. Also used to give. Hey, he smoked. That's the one. Hey, he trained me. Who? Yeah. He was what in my mean, hometown. Who just said? So he was in yeah, my hometown. Chris Jackson of Dual Rose. Oh yeah, he. Oh, oh, he from. Oh yeah, he from Gulf Point, Mississippi. Oh, he from oh, Gulf yeah, Point, Mississippi. Oh, he from Gulf Point, Mississippi. Trained me at, at 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 the GRC. Trust me. Yeah, he's he's mm. he came to Baton Rouge, oh, bro. And I'm oh, say that was hey, he the truth? Oh. Was he the truth? Oh, this is what he this is what he tell us, boy. He said perfect practice don't make perfect. No, he said practice practice don't make perfect. Perfect practice make perfect. You feel what I'm saying? Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For real, because I hey, but if it hit he, if you hit ten of them, if you if you hit the rim, it's just say if you make ten of them, 
and you hit the rim. Like it go in ten times, but you hit the rim. You still that you still at zero. That's how you go play it for you. That, that yeah, because he splashed, man, and everything he hit was a splash. That makes everything sense. Everything was a splash. Everything that was makes a splash, sense. boy. That makes sense. And he that practiced off. He practiced. He he practiced off balance shots all the time. He, yeah, was no, too, I mean, he was too pro black for the league. That's why he never it, really that's made what, it. You just took yeah. that out of my mouth. It was more on the outside and his political type of stands and his mentality that kind of got him out. Like, hey, let's get this guy. Yeah, they black. Don't you know, hey, he sat, he you sat know. for the national anthem, right? That's what it was. Yep. He's, he's yep. for the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, when he became Muslim. He was yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know, you know, you know, you know when they got no body though after he, uh, after he fucked over Jordan. <laughs> what happened? Hey, hey, remind me. Oh, oh, he, oh, I think, I think he hit Jordan for at least thir thirty-five or, yeah. or thirty-five or fifty, something like that. No, he smoked he him. him. He was, he was giving him. The oh man, Jordan, man, Jordan, like Jordan, Jordan didn't have no answer. Man, shit, that went over there, and sat down. Yeah, you he got everybody. I got him you know, a fire, like, but, but, but I never seen nobody guard him anyway. So I, well, no, no disrespect on Jordan. Yeah. It, well, but that that just gives back. Oh, that's one thing about Brandon pointing out a lot when it comes to Scotty Pippen. And we can say, you know, Anthony Davis, a good player, man. You know, he probably will end up being a Hall of Famer at the end of the day. Kyrie Irving, you yeah, know, we can't even talk thing. about that's it. That's the LeBron effect. You Those guys are the LeBron effect. That I always say. I, I, what, I, what, 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 oh, is, you know, what is a super team without LeBron? But, you know, you, you might be you might be right because LeBron, what LeBron James does do is you know he does make guys better. What is a, he what is a super team, better, man? Nah, well, I wouldn't say LeBron, that. Nah, man. Nah, man. I'm talking about in this Super era with Kevin. Nah, nah, man. Because nah, these guys, these guys are great in their own yeah, outright. Yeah. That's, that's, right, that's right, right, right. That's, that's cool. a different. No, 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 LeBron it's makes no, but uh, LeBron makes Chalmers better. LeBron makes Della Dova better. The average yeah. player becomes better. Like, you know, Michael Jordan makes Randy Brown better. Jed Bushler better. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he doesn't make a Scotty. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, these I, I guys was, are I great was, in their I'm own right. I'm talking about regarding, regarding winning, though. And, and a yeah, lot yeah, of that guys was, yeah, you're that, right. that he has played with, mm -hmm. those are mm -hmm. talented yeah. guys. Yeah, like, yeah. Those are yes. pantheon guys. Yeah. No, 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 Anthony and all those guys. pantheon player. No, that, Jordan didn't have that formula yet, now. Jordan didn't yeah. have no formula to win. She, Anthony, he got that formula. Anthony, he got that formula. Kyrie were already doing their thing, you know, before LeBron. They were doing talent. their thing. Talent, why? But, no, but, but, talent, why? Kevin of, of Love course. was doing his thing. Talent, why? He wasn't winning. Wow. Yeah, talent. no, 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 no. no. You're talent. right. And that's what I meant when I said, you know, he makes them better. Not that as a talented player, like you said, Chalmers and all these guys. He, they they he make, that's, yeah, he makes them shine. He makes them win. He makes them winners. And yeah. that's why I just wanted to give both of you guys, in a sense, a point because, yeah, the, Anthony and Kyrie were already cold. You know, they already had their thing going on. And individually, they probably could have had their own stats, you know, at the end of their career individually. But would have had a title? More likely not. You know, so those are things I don't really think. You you mentioned Mike making Judge Bush and all those guys better. I don't really think that was Mike's thing, man. I don't think guys got Pippen's better thing. with Mike. I don't think you, you guys got that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but Pippen's great too. Bro. No, and, but and, Pippen's and, great too. So Pippen has the ability to make other players. Better. And Pippen's that's great. And that, also. that was, and I mean, we we just hold on, hold on, we gotta hold on. go back to Pippen. Yeah, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike ain't making nobody better. Yeah, oh, we gotta get that and shit from him. Pump back here. I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, no, he ain't making you better. Yeah, he's not making you better. He's not. He's not. Old over there. What you say? No, I'm sorry. He's not. He's not okay. making you better. Think about no, what unless, he do. Think about what he's doing, bro. You know, like, unless you, you unless, yeah, Go unless ahead. you're a, a, another another sharp tool. It's like Kobe said. He's like, man, this some dude told him. He's like, hey, man, whatever you do, don't look at him in his eyes. And and and, and, and like Kobe, you know, was like, what? What you talking about? Because Kobe couldn't understand, you know, because he was the same cut from the same thing. So unless you're a guy that, like Pippen, you know, he you don't you don't think. And this I told Brandon. Imagine the one on ones that they had going on, Mike and Pippen in no, practice, because you know, you that, know that, that went happened. down. That Let me tell you, you know that, that went down. Can I that tell happened. you something? Let me Ooh, tell you something. It gives me in the, the chill interview, just to think about those, those in the one on interview, ones. In the, in the interview, the dude was all uh, saying, Yeah, you was pit, you were pushing Pippen. And Pippen and Jordan said, No, uh, Pippen was pushing me. Yes, you know yes. what I'm saying, and that, that's that what just, he said. That just adds to to what he you're said. He, about. he made me. He made me the best basketball player yeah. I can be. You're training with the best defender. Because, you know what I'm saying? And then Jordan can't stop Pippen from scoring though. You see what I'm saying? That's hey. how I look at it. The hey. shot attempts go to Jordan. 
But if nobody can stop me from scoring, I can add four points and then hit your ass with a forty piece, whatever I feel when, like. Because Pippen had the three pointer, he had the mid range. I mean, there was that one Thank game. You. I'm not sure. Thank you. I'm not Man. sure if. But he just the thing. This is the thing from a ball hawk perspective, right? I always say this because I'm a ball hawk. But everywhere I went, man, scoring titles or whatever, but no titles, bro. No titles, you know. And this is what you were saying, like you gotta have help. You know, you can be nice as what you do, but you gotta have somebody to facilitate. You can't just be a scorer. No, but it ain't Pippen, all about help, though. Pippen, it ain't all about help. You see what I'm saying? Because like, look, I ain't gonna lie to you. If you if you really look at how LeBron played his first seven years, man, it was, a, it was times that every time he passed the ball, brick, they brick, they brick. <laughs> See, LeBron, that's his whole career. No, LeBron, yeah, yeah, that's I, his whole career. Listen, listen. Yeah, then the LeBron had to go. LeBron had to go on a a, a ten or twelve, you know, a twenty-two uh, run for some, some some shit, some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, let me, he, let me. he know what he gotta do. But then after a while, he start passing the ball and they start hitting shot. But and then it's it, just made he make him comfortable, bro. You know what I'm saying? The mentality so, of Scottie Pippen was because I've seen a couple of games. Can I remember? Like now that I'm getting back into this basketball thing with y'all, man, I started kind of remembering there was a couple of games where Scotty was smoking everybody with fit. I don't know if Mike was not in the league. I don't know if it was during those two years Mike wasn't in the league or Mike might have been hurt. And Scotty was playing, and I don't know if it was the Knicks or something. He was doing fadeaways, man. He was doing three pointers, man. And that's game. what I'm saying. He that's was just I'm doing saying. everything. Yeah. But Scotty, the first guy would pull up threes. Yeah, I'm and, 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 and that's my main thing, boy. He get the rebound and then run transition and stop and pop. Pull up three. Yeah, and, and, and but he crazy, been but, doing it though. But, but, yeah. but he been doing it though. That's what I'm saying. But if you a Jordan fan, you seen Pippen. Yeah, you're not giving Pippen that. Jordan, that much look, credit. Yeah. Look, Jordan can't do. You can't find a damn thing Jordan could do better than Pippen. I feel this. You can this. find plenty of things. This. You I can find this. plenty of things. You, you guys Pippen said the Batman. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Let's let's move. No, on. no, we <laughs> are, ain't nobody <laughs> arguing. I'm just all right, saying. No, no. Let's let's move on from from, from this topic. All right. Um. <laughs> other, other other next topic. You know, I I, I got is what we was talking about. How you know the winning aspect of the game. You know, they, they always talk about LeBron can't win without this and that, and they just discard Scottie Pippen. Like, Jordan was without Scottie Pippen. So, as we know, without Scottie Pippen, he was 1-9 and nine in the playoffs. He had five seasons without Pippen, zero winning seasons, zero titles without Pippen, nothing without Phil. Jordan without, you know, Scottie is basically Ooh. Tracy McGrady, a lot of scoring <laughs> and no winning. Mm-hmm. Even without, even as an owner, he still mm-hmm. has not developed the the talent to even make it out of the first round. And he's been the owner for like what 13, 15 years. To so MJ, yeah, to MJ fans, LeBron's the better GM. <laughs> yeah, and we already seen him win that's titles facts, with that's, Wade that's on his facts. team, with Bosh now on his team, with Ray Allen now on his team, with Kyrie now on his team. He he is winning with. Everybody, it doesn't matter. You plug him in, you're in the finals. Everyone wants to talk about in year nine, 19, he didn't make the finals. I mean, the playoffs. What did Jordan do in year nine, 19? What did any? What did Kobe Bryant do in year 19? You cannot judge LeBron off a of year 19 when no one has done what, what they're asking to do. They're setting the impossible for LeBron. If LeBron didn't make the, like Stephen A. Smith, he said the like, GOAT debate is over because LeBron didn't make the finals. I mean, the that playoffs the year 19. Uh-huh. Like, so we just going to discard 14 who? and 15 for Jordan? Who, who, who is Stephen hey, A? Stephen A. He's a hater. 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 He's Jordan gets full credit for being six and zero, and Scotty, they just think that he was Steve Kerr. Exactly. Even John Sally, who played with both of them, he even said that Scotty is the most skilled player between yes. the two. Like yes. he said, don't forget, Mike was not winning anything before Scotty got there. They like to talk about um, Scotty's first year; he averaged ten <laughs> points a game in the playoffs. Ooh, that was like the Bulls <laughs> won by a last second shot that that series. So those ten points a game really mattered. If he didn't have those 10 points, they would have got swept. As as I'm in the 
Thank you. Yeah, in, 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 in the NAIA and, or, or versus a guy who went to a blue blood. Yeah. Who went and to a blue blood college. Come on, man. This ain't hard to figure out. Yes, <laughs> after you get acclimated, that's any hoopers. The moment you get acclimated with like the speed, the strength of a league, and you got talent, you're gonna be better. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he even be even better. even Kobe took a few years, and he turned out to be one of the greatest players to ever walk because he up came on the court. From because he came yeah. from what Brandon from high school. Yeah. No, no, no. But think about this. Now I'm just thinking about this because you just brought up the, the USA team. Scottie Pippen ended up being on the USA team with those cast of All Star legends and all those legends in four years playing NBA basketball. Right. Yeah, that's how right. good it was. Because that's he was like Jordan Jordan playing at that, at that level. And guess what? And guess what? Wow. And hey, guess let, what? Let, wow. let, let, let me go go ahead and finish before before yeah. we get into it. Though. Oh, sorry. Wow. So let so let, let me start with Carl Malone. Carl Malone said if he had to start his team, he would start it with Scotty. Everyone always talking about Carl Carl Malone's a hater of Mike. Why is he a hater? No. He he even said the Bulls was great. Michael was great, but he had a great team. Anyway, he said that you know Scotty when um when he wasn't there, they wasn't winning like everyone else says. And he said, Don't don't remember that when he start, you know, to come, they start winning. Scotty did would did not care about just scoring. He did not care about oh, all I want to do is scoring. Even Mike, even Carl Malone said like his second player would be magic. Like that's how high he put Scotty. And then um, Gary Payton even said that Scotty changed the way the Bulls played. He said they would not have won many games if he wasn't there. Scotty guarded the best player. He made the crucial plays, the crucial assists, the crucial blocks, the crucial re rebounds. So he's getting these you no know, praise from all these other players. And even Phil Jackson, his coach, would have said how complete of a package he was, how good of a rebound, a passer, and a score, a defender he was. Like all of these from these legends is saying how – great scotty was of that era make sure we yes. know that of that era. of that era yeah just like uh may johnny say he was one he's a top show five player in the show, 90s. show it i got the best there yeah. show it the graph is there yeah <laughs> that's, what like, here. that's what we do here we bring up facts yeah. on this show hey, thank you for correcting me too yeah. thank you for correcting yeah. me yeah okay yeah apologies. yeah yeah it's like yeah, i was yeah, saying like, would have been worse what, what if the bulls never had Ooh. jerry cross and traded for this diamond and rough who would mm. they pick Ooh, to replace Scottie Pippen? Tank. I, Ooh, I know they shit. always say you can replace them with like Drag, Clyde Dre Drexler and Ooh. all these other superstars. No, I think is, team. Why would the, why would the Blazers Damn. give them Clyde Dre Drexler or why would Utah give them Carl Malone for what? Because they won't say you Hey, the key word the key word is for what? Yeah. yeah, no, but no, Scotty can find two players that can give him 20 or one player that can give him 25. Jordan will never find somebody like Scotty Pippen. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's one yeah. yeah. on the defensive yeah. side. Yeah. For what Scotty Pippen did for Jordan, as far as we talked about how Scotty on the defensive side alone was like Michael on the offensive side. So Jordan was never going to find a Scotty Pippen on the defensive side to do what Scotty did for Jordan. So Jordan could score his 30 points per game. But Scotty could have found two players that averaged about 18 20. Or he could have just found one player to average 25 and might have won some championships with that player. Hey guys, what if nah, what if what nah, if what if gonna work out? Remember that year? You remember that year that uh uh he took them to the what almost to the Eastern Cross Finals? What if he'd have had Robin well, that year? Not, yeah. Not not only that, he, he yeah. did the, he did it with the Rockets, he did it with the with the Blazers. I mean, he was right there he didn't in each of those those teams that he played with. He was right there. I mean, he if it wasn't Kobe and Shaq, he would have been in the finals with the Pacers. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. So, like, and, yeah. and right. if Barkley yeah. would have like stopped eating so many donuts and freaking Popeyes, <laughs> they all could have they could have beaten, you know, I think it was was the, the Jazz, I believe, knocked on the Suns. Yeah, they, they lost in like the right. Conference, didn't they? But the night, they, they the night of old. Bulls team is yeah. Phil Jackson's favorite team. <laughs> it, it is. It is. He said that shit. That's his favorite team. Not the 1914 was the uh, with, with yeah, Jordan was with Jordan was gone. The, the That's his favorite team. About. But but the, the year the, the 93, 94 team without without Jordan. Yeah. But, but, the thing that, that, but the thing that LeBron haters love to talk about, or and what MJ fans love to bring I'm up is, how, is the All Stars, right? The All Star appearances, right? Because yeah. you know, uh, Scotty didn't get the All Star appearances, but we you know we talked about the things that Scotty changed, but. You know, another thing we didn't bring in the fact that is players branding themselves 
in the 90s, it wasn't really a formula. and People didn't know how to brand themselves that well. Today, players could be a Kyrie Irving, which is probably, a, right. a, a, you know, a Chris Jackson, you know, Abdul in the, in the 90s. But because right. of branding and right. marketing, he's more seen, he's more known, he's more popular. And obviously, the NBA knows how to market their players. So, and they know how to do it by now, especially by now. After Michael Jordan, that's the formula. We already know I was, what to do. I was just, you just took that out of my mouth because, I mean, that's the one thing we do. Got to give Mike, you know. I, I I was talking to this to one of my homies, and I was like, I, I remember the first ever time I seen, you know, Michael Jordan cologne. And I was like, what? Like, Michael <laughs> Jordan got cologne? Like, I want that. You know what I'm saying? And like, Haynes, he had his Haynes on. And I'm like, yo, all right, there I am with my whitey tighties. You know what I'm saying? It's like, those are things that... Mike did kind of break through, and now we didn't have that. And think about Scotty. They were focusing that on Mike, so you know they're not going to put another guy. You know, it's like it seems like the, the league Man. made it seem like Scotty was just a sidekick. But Man. what I wanted to say was it's kind of like a Superman and Batman situation. And yes. whoever you wanted to yeah, be Superman, that's what it is. Yeah. whoever you Thank wanted you. to be Superman, that's up to you. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. But uh, but that it was no Batman and Robin. But you could do that, that because at the time you got. Rest his soul, David Stern, the greatest commissioner ever. David had two things happening. You had the advent of technology, okay, during the 90s, and commercialism kind of co coming together, you know, at the same time. And yeah. David Stern's formula was, I am going to brand my stars, my biggest star, so that I can globalize the game. Ooh, being, Jordan, being ooh. Michael Jordan. Ooh, In yeah. doing so, ooh, I yeah. have to create a deity mm -hmm. that he has to be de like deified almost mm -hmm. in order for it to become a globalized mm, that's where we get the and he was able to do that in order to do that in order for that to happen i can't have the i can't say after three championship this is the greatest basketball mm. player ever and then the next year the guy who he's running with goes to the finals i can't have that mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't, yeah i mm -hmm. can't I so I gotta pay the referee. So I gotta pay the referee. <laughs> stop! 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 Oh my! Oh, goodness. ain't no. Ooh, ooh. There's no way I could continue to like. Don't don't get the conspiracy that. theory out of me. Yeah, oh, man. No, we don't want him no oh, more. No. No. We don't want that theory, man. We don't want that, man. He gotta tell him, man. How to how to conspiracy? Man, conspiracy ain't true all the time. When you talk with ex players, mm -hmm. I mean the, the Pistons talk about that. Like, yo, we we know money, we know dude. Like the league was pushing him, and rightfully yeah. so. Well, yeah, um, um, I, I, Isaiah Thomas said they would be in the finals, like they would be the best team in the league, and they be playing like a good team, and they are cut from their game just to show Jordan walking into the arena while they're the NBA champion. Absolutely, WGM yes. was in Louisiana, yes. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mm, 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 mm. Just for context, and it was eight channels back then. Well, that well, that's what that's one of the reasons why they call him the goat, right? Because of the adoration, the popularity that Jordan carries, and we know that. Yeah. That's the yeah. that's, that's the reason why it's so hard to just no talk denying. with them. It's hard mm -hmm. because they don't Man. they don't want to let mm -hmm. that go. Mm -hmm. And and like you said, going in from the eighties into the nineties, it was just something about entertainment. You get you get the goats, you get the greatest, you know, Mike Tyson and the Michael Jacksons and and those type of people. And but we got to give it to MJ. There was an aura about oh, MJ. No, yes, yes, oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you for he saying that. that. Thank you for he, saying that. Thank and and like you said, that. David David Stern was smart. And and you know, I wouldn't go to the conspiracy theory when they lost there you Jordan, go, Jordan fans. No, no, listen. When they when no, listen. When they lost Jordan in the in the league in '93. The NBA still has to go. These are rich billionaires. Mm -hmm. They're not thinking, oh, well, you know, they, they love Jordan. Don't get me wrong. Jordan's making me money when I have him, but we don't have him. What can we do? So they did try to reshuffle some things and try to get it in Thank order. But like I said, at that time, branding, you still got to get, you still have to have companies willing to brand your players. You still have to have to have the company saying, well, I'm going to take this player. I'm going to take that player. You know, back then it was just shoes. Today, these guys are advertising everything. I'm seeing Chris Paul on insurance commercials. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's, you know, right. so everything. it's, it, so it's it's you know it the the idea of branding these players today is bigger. So you're gonna have all these all stars that wouldn't be all stars in the '90s because they were not gonna get the branding that you see today. You're not gonna get that. So and and for me, this is the craziest thing. You're really glorifying a player for getting voted to play in an exhibition game. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's because I bring up the all NBAs and the all defensive to Jordan fans, and they throw it away. Wait, unless they don't it's even Jordan. know. They don't even understand what that is. <laughs> no, they get they get up. They yeah. throw it away unless it's Jordan. They're not three. Jordan fans, bro. They more of a hater than in it. Fans. You know what they like, are. They this is no what I tell no people. Man. This is what they really are. They are people who learn basketball from a Bob Costas intro on NBC. Say that. Say that, AB. Say that. Man, they might not even do that. They might just no, no, no highlights. Like, and... you, you remember the Bob Costas NBC? Bob Costas used to have the greatest you... eulogies of Michael Jordan ever, bro. Of course, like, right? You're going to market I'm Jordan, right? You. Show, hey, market show Mike, they show Mike the most, though. He showed Mike the most. <laughs> yeah. You're going to show Mike. Mike's going to get the most views. Like he said, Mike Cologne made people go where? It could be stink. It could have <laughs> yeah, smelled it, like it, shit. It didn't smell that good. It, could, <laughs> it, it didn't smell that good. good. <laughs> it did not. You're right. I, I was in the sixth grade wearing, wearing it. It didn't smell good at all. That's why I People, that's why I have my top five, right? Because for me, it's it's Magic's the greatest leader, Bird's the greatest competitor, um, Russell's the greatest winner, uh, Jordan's the greatest star, and LeBron's the greatest player. Like so, Ooh. that's how. That's how I, I love that. I love that's that. how I break. That's I how I break that. it down. So, so, but you know, and that's why me and Brandon started the show because me and Brandon met, you know, talking about LeBron. Because I'm not really a LeBron fan. Dwayne Wade's my favorite player. Larry Johnson, Larry Bird. Tim Duncan, these are yeah, the guys yeah. that I like to watch. You know what I'm saying? Right. I like yeah. fundamental basketball. I was I was tall, so everybody put me in the low post. So I had to always learn to be, you know, <laughs> I didn't get the ball unless I rebound. You see, nobody was mm. throwing me the ball. I had to mm. rebound to get the ball and put it back up. That's how I scored. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I I appreciated people that took their role and and learned how to master their role. You know what I'm saying? So, but LeBron mastered everything in basketball. I mean, it's crazy. Even the outside part of it. Beyond the game itself, his, everything that he's done, his branding, everything. It's like you can't argue with the young man. And he's not even young no more. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's a yeah, man. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's an old man now. But, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah like when, when I was growing up, my favorite play was was Penny, you know? So I used to, you know, who, who was I, 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 was my guy. Oh, I used to like Isaiah, too. You used to like yeah, Isaiah, too. Well, well, uh, well um, I, 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 I used to like Isaiah. Player, and then Penny was my second. Then after Penny, Penny, it was, it was, it was Vince, Vince Carter. So, you know. You know, I graduated, you know, like Vince, he wasn't just a scorer. No, he tried to do everything. But, you know, for me, I tried to, you know, be more of a passer at first. But when, when I got into college, I knew what I had to do. I he had to shoot. score the ball. So, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. What position you played? I played the, uh, the three. So, the three? Um, you know, in college, you know, you know, you know, Phil was, was, my, was my point. He would come up to me and say, hey, B, B. Lee, you cannot score every time. You touch the ball. <laughs> I was like, watch this. Because he knew if I got the ball, it ain't coming out. We had, we had 30 the, you plays was the black a game. Hole. You was the black hole. Yeah, we, we had 30 plays a game. 20 was for Derek and 10 was somebody else. So I'm going to get my 20. I don't yeah. care if I get five touches. I'm going to get 20 points, no and, matter and, what. And y'all, and y'all lost with that mentality. Trust me, you lost with no, that mentality. No, we, yeah, we lost. Because That's I was why he on the podcast right yeah, now. Yeah, because I was a scorer, and Phil was, was the point. Yeah, so you Phil know. No, no, Brandon, Brandon, Brandon was nice, man. Man, was nice. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, you gave me 20, 20 touches. I'm putting up 40. But anyway, <laughs> you know, no, and then when, when I went, you know, so okay, I know we talked talk about how, you know, Jordan, you know, they put him as, you know, the, um, the, the media god and everything and you know they gave him everything and it was so much on jordan that he even told his father that he was going to take a break from basketball it was too much for him he did he retired he, in 93 everyone think it's because of his father but he had a conversation he even said it from his mouth that before his father died they had a conversation about him not playing in the 93 94 season because all of the pressure all of the media never getting the chance to relax it was constant Jordan do this. And in the 80s, they had Magic and Bird to, like, split things up. They also had Dr. J. So in the 90s, it was just Jordan. And it was so much pressure on him that he just said, you know, this is too much. I need a break. Right. And, you know, he played baseball because his father died. But if it, I don't think if his father passed away, he would just t- took a break exhausted. for a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the story yeah. behind that, though. You know the story behind it, right? You know what, what caused him to, uh, to to say he wasn't when, when he wanted to play no more? The gambling. He, he went he went to the casino a night before the finals game against the Suns. 
Right. And he went to the casino, and obviously, because Michael Jordan's followed everywhere, they caught him coming out of the casino. They lost the next day, and the media ate Jordan alive and was saying, what were you doing gambling out the night before? And Jordan felt that was too intrusive. Like, damn, like, I can't yeah, even go. he was there with his dad. He was like, yeah. I yeah, he was yeah, he was hanging out. Yeah, he was hanging out with his father at that time. And that's when he re and remember Ooh. when he when he went to the Olympics, he realized how big he was globally. He didn't realize that how yes. how he was like damn like he was like so it kind of hit him. He like you said like it was up a lot there of pressure. With Michael Jackson, you know. Yeah, yeah, he can't go nowhere. He can't go Disney World, he can't go to the supermarket, he can't, you know, he can't get a a, a McDonald's, he can't do none of this. He couldn't do none of that. He can't, he couldn't imagine what that media yeah. do today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, J. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Jordan went and played baseball to hide from the media right. in the minor leagues. Right. They said that he just was one of the guys. He was happy not having everybody around him all the time. Like you said, yeah. like he couldn't even go down the street. He needed a break. Well, 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 John well, that was in his business. He's like, if you look at all the stuff, man, George is really not saying he's not really talking. In, sometimes I dream that he's George not saying anything in the Gatorade commercial. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're not getting him like talking on like Michael's a very private dude. Okay, that adds to the allure, the mystique. Whereas that's you got, smart. got you know, that's smart. That's just smart, bro. It's that's smart, just, but but that's smart. actually his personality, though. That's yeah. his personality. Oh, okay, though. okay, yeah. Okay, now now, in, in doing so though, you try to put that in this era. That's not gonna work. You, you're not. You're not gonna be goat like. Yeah. <laughs> no. You're not. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. The the only way he could if he won every year, but he wouldn't do that today. You can't do that today because you got two. You can't games. do it. Never. No one ever done it. No one's you, ever you, won you're every not year. Be, you're not gonna be able to do that because the talent level is too immense. This yeah. is a league now that's far too skilled. So when I hear people talk about. Well, they're so soft and stuff like that. You know how how unbelievably good you got to be to play in this era because you can't understand. touch anybody. Especially, especially That's why today. we started this show. That's why we started this show because that narrative that Jordan Media created about basketball has permeated oh throughout God. decades, and now we're talking about mentality and toughness and hard and, right and, and, hard. and not talking about actual strategy and actual real things that have to do with what happens on the basketball court. I you know the game on no We about to get the game now. Yeah. And it's, I coach football. I used to coach youth football league. And oh, one, of the things, yeah. one of the things my coach used to always tell the kids is emotions win no games. You know how when people get the kids all hyped when you're doing football, you know, the pad. Pound, exactly. and, and, exactly. and he, used to, he used to tell man, listen, that don't win no games. Execution was what win games. What we practice is what you need to do on the on the football field. That's it. And that's what it's about. It's about schemes, game planning, not toughness, mentality, and and aggression, and and uh, the will to win. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> all, right, um, all right. We we about to head out, y'all. So Great show. You know, Get, get at me next week if y'all y'all want, want to get on again. All right, Man, get some real Jordan fans up here so we can. Yeah, they're afraid. They're yeah, afraid. Yeah, yeah, they're afraid. We need that. We need they're afraid. That. They're afraid to get on. We are calling you out. They're afraid fans. to get on. Ain't no, ain't no real Jordan fans no more, man. They're afraid. Yeah, they're they, afraid I tell you to what. get on and talk. They and, don't want to post these recycled memes about yeah. LeBron all day. That's all they do. LeBron and because they hate because they are haters. MJ fans are not basketball fans. They just MJ fans. That's the problem. <laughs> Heard that? Heard that? <laughs> All right, guys. It was a pleasure. All right, All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. man. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace.